Um, I want to follow up on the video I made uh, 10, 11 days ago, 11 days ago I guess it was. <coughs> um, <coughs> we came up here and <coughs> this hive right here was full of bees and I took, <coughs> went in there and <coughs> didn't use any smoke, found the rack that the queen was on. And I caught the queen with this queen catcher and I kept her aside until <coughs> raised the, kept the rack that she was on out. And I moved that rack over into a nuke, which is this small hive right here. <coughs> this is a hive of a, it's a hive of a hive, what it is. I inserted the rack for the queen had been on in that, in that, in that, in this, in this, in the, in this nuke. Also, I kept the queen to the side, kept the queen over here to the side of this hive. I took out four other racks that had young bee and lava on them, put them in that nuke over, over there, shuck a lot of young bees over in that nuke. Then I took empty racks, replaced in this home, uh, her home, her home uh, hive, and I put four empty racks in there. I re put the old queen back in here. Now, I also did that to this hive over here, but uh, a day, about a day or two beforehand, and I'm going to show you the results on it, uh, just as quick as we get this one done. <coughs> so this one here, so this one here has, this, this new cure has, um, um, had a queen, uh, a rack that the queen was on, which was laying eggs. I didn't use any smoke. I was very careful, very quiet. Went in there and did it. Now it takes 16 days, 16 days for the quit for the for the bees to, 16 days for the bees to. Uh, cap the queen. She'll put wax on. Here's some pollen I put in there. Now we're just going to look at the cell that I put the queen in. I've got her marked here with a Q. So right here she is. This is a wreck. We pulled out of that hive over there and we're going to look for the queen. There may be more than one cell. There may be only one cell. There may be no cells. No queen cells. What we're going to do, if there's no queen cells, we're going to go back over in that hive, the mother hive, and get another rack, find the queen, get her off, and take that rack and bring it over here and insert the queen back over there. So uh, they can make the lava that you just laid a queen. Uh, let me see on here, and here we go. And here, we've made a, we've made a good, we've made a good, let me blow this, Now right here's your good one. There's a good queen cell. Let me get behind the camera. Ah, uh, the bees are on it here. I don't want to damage her. Right there she is. It's the queen cell. Let me look for some more queen cells on here. There's one they're making right now. Lava. You see on the other side here. Let me see here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There's another queen cell they've made. If I can get my camera hand up to the get my tool out of the way. Uh, right there's a queen cell. There's another one. And it looks like they're building maybe another one down there. So there's one there's three there's three queen cells on this. So I'm going to insert this very, very easily back into the hive. Don't want to damage those queen cells at all. If you notice, the queen cells were at the bottom. They were hanging down. So this is good. Put this back on. 
and put the cement block back on it and we got a queen in here so about 25 days something uh, about 10 days from now that, that virgin queen is going to come out of this hive right here and she's going to make short flights uh, she's going to make little, she's going to go to maybe that tree right there little bushes and back to the hive maybe go to this one she might make five or six or ten or twenty she'll make enough test flights to she knows that she's she has confidence she gets confidence that she can make her maiden flight and fly up in the sky to about 200 foot plus 250 foot and the drones the male bees from the hives not from this hive but from this hive over here is going to mate her now we're going to go up to the other yard and see what we got up there uh, actually uh, it was made from this uh, hive it was made from this hive down here I'm trying to get my rack fixed up it was made from this hive right here and the day I was making it uh, <laughs> a windstorm came up and blew my camera over there and I just made it and put it up in a different yard so we'll go to that yard right now and see what's got see what we got up there I'll let the camera continue rolling looking for is um, a queen cell in the hive now she'll stay in that cocoon cocoon there for um, well actually it's she stays in it for 16 days to the day she's laying in an egg she'll come out of that cocoon and she'll be a we wait about 10 11 days and we check it uh, just to make sure there is one because it's a possibility there was no uh, live good uh, live or less coordinator Cell and got you a queen. Sometimes they'll make one uh, queen cell, and sometimes they'll make two or three or four. That one back there I actually had uh, three caps. I actually had that three caps, and uh, see, three caps, and it's making them. <laughs> they had one uh, almost ready to cap. I gotta let my legs out here on this tripod. Don't have no help. My wife will not help me with my bees. She'll help me with anything in the world, but she refuses to work on bees, as most women will do. Okay, we're gonna look a quick, a quick look in here. Quick, a quick look in this one. It's not a good day to do this. Uh, it's, it's windy and everything. It's just not a good day. There's a lot of bees up here on this one. And let's see if I can remember. This is pollen patties uh, I had on there, I got on there. It, uh, they have to have pollen patties and um, I believe it was on this record. They have to have pollen, honey syrup, or nectar 
to make raw jelly and that's what you feed the queen with is uh, raw jelly all her entire life I believe this is the one that the queen we had with the queen um, lava on it uh, look. oh here she is that was good look at this baby and out there she is right there she is let me get my camera up on her uh, right there it's a long cell so now I'm going to insert this back in here very very easily don't want to damage that queen cell that's it I don't know if they got more queen cells in here or not I, that's all I've seen and it's really all I care about is that one mark that again and quickly put this back together oh that felt good come on girls behave now I want you to make sure you had a queen that's all I did I don't want you girls to go hungry now you girls get back in there and do your work so that I guess out of a continue uh, video for today what, what we did was cut the old queen in the cell and the hives back or the full hives caught the queen with uh, the queen catcher her and um, caught the queen and put her aside so she couldn't get out took the rack that she was on placed that rack in a nuke which is that which is that thing a nuke is a half of a half of a beehive and then I took some more empty racks I mean uh, racks of brood on them and put them in that nuke four it's a five frame nuke one rack of honey and then put the uh, put the pollen patty on top of the nuke put the lead, the lead back on top of it went back to the original hive where I, the queen I still got the queen uh, put four empty put four empty racks back in there in that original hive with the old queen back in the same hive she came out of so now so what happened is these um, these young bees took went seeing they had no queen and they made them a queen so now still having two hives I have four and I'm going to make a couple more nukes next week or so and I'll have six hives so that's the easy way of making the nuke if you have any questions or comments below please just ask me I'll be more than happy to comply with anything get back to video is going to be on making greenhouses and uh, pH levels and uh, uh, greenhouses and um, I got a singer here bother me greenhouses and uh, so I hope you like it and if you do subscribe and like it and I want to tell you uh, right out that I love my, I love my God I'm a Christian my Lord, my Lord is Jesus Christ. Is, uh, without Him, nothing would happen. I would be able to make these things. He gave me the knowledge and wisdom how to do this. And of course, I've read books and do all this online and all this research. But God is the one that does all this stuff. And I give Him praise and God, praise and honor for the Lord forever. Like I say, I love my Lord. I love my Lord Jesus Christ. So I like if you like this channel, I like to say, subscribe. Thank you all for watching.